One of the most wasteful parts around the holiday season is how we wrap our gifts, but it doesn't have to be that way. I'm here today to show you all the different ways that I could brainstorm about eco-friendly gift wrapping, zero waste gift wrapping, so that we can have a less wasteful holiday season from the gifts we give all the way to how we wrap them and how we give them. If you missed my holiday gift guide, I think it was last week by the time you're seeing this, you can check it out up here. I release one of those every year, so that makes five of them. They will all be linked down below. Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all sorts of things zero waste, focusing on free, easy, and fun ways to live low waste and practical ways to be an activist. And of course, I do have to talk about how to have eco-friendly holidays whenever they come around. If I forget any ways to wrap gifts in a more low waste way, definitely leave them down below because this list is not all inclusive, but I do think I hit most of the bases. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first category is to just use what you already have, whether that be something like, you know, using last year's wrapping paper that you bought brand new or using other things that you can find around your house. The first idea that I have that I think everybody comes up with is newspaper. It is just such a fun print. You can also find like the comics or the puzzles, make it a little more interactive. Most people do already have it and probably just throw it away anyway. So you might as well get some use out of it before putting it in your recycling bin. I know here my mom has to subscribe to them so she doesn't have any newspaper that I could use for this video. But back when we lived in Spokane, we got a monthly newspaper for free just to our PO box. So it might depend on where you live, but for the most part, people do get newspapers for free. So free wrapping paper. Now, if it's not your aesthetic, you can still use newspaper. If you are packing a small gift inside of a larger box, you can use it to stuff the box full so that the stuff doesn't break or doesn't give it away by someone shaking it up. Similar to that is to reuse packing paper that you receive from your online orders. For example, I just received some laundry detergent that I unboxed today. It came with some brown wrapping paper, packing paper in there that I can use for wrapping paper. Plain, it'll fit pretty much anybody's aesthetic. You can draw on it and make it pretty. My mom wrapped my niece's gift for her birthday a couple weeks ago in brown pack packing paper and then my sister painted on it to match the theme of the birthday party. I love that too. You can use free packing paper that you receive and then paint it or draw on it to match the theme of your Christmas, your Christmas decor, or you could just leave it plain as well. And similar to that is to just reuse brown paper bags. For example, we have been getting a lot of local apples recently and they come in the cutest little apple bags that I just cut out and use that as wrapping paper for this small gift and it's just so darling but you could also reuse you know brown paper bags from Trader Joe's you could reuse brown paper bags from some stores use them like I can't think of any mall stores like Kohl's might use them Aeropostale do they still exist Abercrombie I haven't been to a mall in years can you tell but some stores like that also give out paper bags that you can reuse as well as I already mentioned you can just reuse traditional wrapping paper gift bags and bows from years past if the bows aren't sticky put some tape on them or use glue if you have a roll of wrapping paper left but it's not eco-friendly because it might contain some plastic use it anyway because it's better to use the wasteful stuff instead of just throw it directly into the landfill because at least it's getting some use out of it and of course gift bags though designed to be disposable, are reusable over and over again for a long, long time. I'm willing to bet that my mom has some gift bags from probably the early 2000s, at least the 2010s still that she's using. And it's so fun, like it could be a little tradition if someone gives you a gift in a bag and then you give it back to them year after year after year or birthday and Christmas, like it can be a fun tradition to reuse the same stuff over and over again. You can also use new but unused wrapping paper. And what I mean is if you hop on Facebook Marketplace right now in like early December, or if you go to Goodwill or any other secondhand store, I'm willing to bet that they have some new still wrapped wrapping paper. Again, it might not be the most eco-friendly, but shopping secondhand using resources that have already been created versus buying a new eco product is actually quite sustainable. Especially if this is your aesthetic. If you want like the big bold colors, you want stuff that's cheap as well because some eco-friendly wrapping papers can get expensive. Maybe they don't make eco-friendly wrapping papers in your favorite colors, whatever it may be. You can try looking secondhand first and you can get wrapping paper in this way. If you have weirdly shaped items, you can reuse boxes from again, online orders. You can reuse cereal boxes, tissue boxes, shoe boxes. Reuse basically any box to make it easier to wrap and also like easier to disguise the gift because let's see, I don't have anything around me. A mug. If I was trying to gift a mug for the holiday season and I just put wrapping paper right around this, you know, it would probably be a dead giveaway and it would also be at risk of breaking. So it's probably best to put this inside a box, reuse some newspaper or packing paper, reuse a box and then wrap it as well to make it easier to wrap and also less breakable. Alternatively, you could also just put um, something like a mug in a box, tape the box closed and don't even wrap it. You don't have to wrap it because it's already concealed. The person won't be able to tell what it is. I really like this paper tape from Eco Enclosed. Now they do only sell wholesale like in bulk. So if you want a lot of paper tape, they're your go-to, but they have really, really fun Christmas prints. I'm sure you could find paper tape and Christmas prints elsewhere. Still decorative, it's still holiday themed, but then you don't have to use wrapping paper as well. Next is to use stylish toilet paper wrapping. And if you're like, what the heck does that mean? You have probably never heard of Who Gives a Crap or any other brand. I think Bim Bamboo was one of the other ones. I did a whole toilet paper review a couple years ago. You can check it out up here. 
if you're in the market for toilet paper during this time, but a lot of them did come in really fun single, they're wrapping individual rolls of their toilet paper in really fun prints that are easy to reuse as tissue paper, as packing paper, or even as wrapping paper itself. Like this, who gives a crap? Now, I wish that there wasn't a big who gives a crap label on the front of someone's gift. That's kind of annoying. You know, someone's gonna look at that. Someone who's never heard of this brand before is gonna be like, what does this mean? What do you mean who gives a crap? So it's kind of funny, I suppose. But now something cool that who gives a crap does every single year, I believe they're already sold out for the year because it's so popular, is around the end of November, mid to end of November, they do a holiday box where it is designed with no, no logo on it. And it has a to from tag printed on the package. This makes it much easier to reuse as gift wrap or as tissue paper, etc., without their big who gives a crap logo on it. And their boxes during this time are also designed to be reused as ornaments and so forth. If you're in the market for that, unfortunately your time has probably passed for this year, but as a reminder, save this video for next November so you can order Who Gives a Crap's holiday box. But anyway, you can save them all year long and then boom, you have free wrapping paper at the end of the year. Let's move on to reusable gift wrap. This is gift wrap that's designed to be reused. It is not just made out of paper, something that's going to easily tear and degrade. Though of course you can reuse traditional wrapping paper, paper wrapping paper. But the first one in this category is Shiki Wrap. That is the name of the brand. It is a play on words from Furoshiki, which is the Japanese method of wrapping with cloth. I really like this brand too because their fabric is double-sided, giving you multiple options. I like they have they have plain options as well as printed options. So depending on your theme, your aesthetic, and then you just simply tie a little bow. There are lots of different methods for Furoshiki, but I like to just tie two knots diagonally. It's very easy. It looks nice. And then you get to reuse this year after year after year. And if you get just plain colors that aren't necessarily like Christmas or holiday colors, you can reuse them for birthdays as well. Another option for Furoshiki is from Darn Good Yarns. They're taking upcycled sari material and turning that into scarves and Furoshiki as well. Okay, so for the record, I haven't tested Shiki Wrap myself, but Darn Good Yarns is really, really thin. So it kind of depends on what you want. Um, Shiki Wrap looks a little bit more thick to me online. Now it might be a little bit expensive up front to buy some specific Furoshiki style fabric, but just think about how much it'll save you over the long run. So if you buy a couple really nice Furoshikis and then you use them over and over again for like literal decades, it'll pay itself off. And again, I really like Darn Good Yarns because it's not made from new materials. It's made from upcycle materials, making it extra eco-friendly. Next is reusable gift bags. This could be anything from just a drawstring bag that you have lying around, a canvas tote, a bag that you made. I like to crochet bags and use those as gifts, or it could be something specifically designed to be a a reusable gift bag. This one I found online is from Everwrap. It is just supposed to mimic a traditional gift bag, but instead be made out of a stronger, more reusable material. Again, you can just reuse gift bags, the paper ones. They're they're designed to be single use, but they're actually pretty durable, especially if you store them nicely. But I think Everwrap also makes reusable gift boxes that are just really, really nice colors, really nice materials, a little bit more durable than a cardboard box to reuse over and over again. But let's say you don't wanna spend all this money because those first three are a little bit expensive. What can you do instead? You can head to your local thrift store and just thrift some linens. You could thrift some fabric. I got this idea from my friend Tiny Waste on TikTok. She was just like, just go to your local Goodwill, get a pillowcase, get a bed sheet, get a dining table cover, a, a, a tablecloth, or as you could get tea towels. There's so many different fabric options at a thrift store for like less than $5 a piece, significantly cheaper than the first ones. You could cut them to size, especially if you get like a bed sheet for like less than $5, cut that into like two foot by two foot square. You've probably got 10 pieces of Furoshiki style wrapping paper that you can use over over again. You could use pinking shears or just sew the edges to make sure that they don't fray. Alternatively, you could also just thrift tote bags and then just tie them in a little bow. Those make great reusable gifts as well. Reusable gift bags. As I already hinted at, you can make a bag yourself. For me, I crochet, so I would like to crochet bags for the holiday season, but maybe you sew, maybe you knit. There are also a lot of different tutorials online, on Pinterest, on YouTube for no sew bags that you can make with old t-shirts, old pillowcases, old fabric in general. So there are lots of ways that you could make a bag yourself. And bonus, this also doubles as a gift. Also, if you're a sewer or if you just have old scrap fabric lying around in the form of old t-shirts, old pillowcases, old bed sheets, whatever it may be, similar to the thrifting one, you can just use what you already have lying around at home as a sort of Furoshiki style wrapping paper, which is just, you know, using fabric to wrap your gift. Let's move on to something that's disposable, but sustainable. And maybe you're wondering what makes, some, what makes wrapping paper sustainable? Let's go over that real quick. Basically, it's something that is going to be 100% recyclable because not all wrapping paper is recyclable. Some of it does contain plastic components, making it not recyclable because it's a plastic paper combo. So you're gonna look for 100% paper. Better yet, if it's printed with plant-based inks, like, or doesn't have any ink at all, any dyes, it's just totally natural. And like bonus, if it's also made from recycled materials. So there's a lot of different things that can make wrapping paper eco-friendly. So keep those in mind, even if you want disposal wrapping paper because you're like, Furoshiki is not for me, it's too expensive, it's too difficult, whatever it may be. Maybe you don't like gift bags and boxes, you really want wrapping paper.
paper, check out these eco-friendly disposable options instead. And don't forget to remove any plastic tape, bows, ribbons before recycling, because again, that stuff is generally not accepted for recycling. First, and my absolute favorite brand of disposable eco-friendly wrapping paper is from Rappley. I love them for many, many reasons. First off, it's made from recycled materials. It's also milled, printed, designed, made in Washington in the United States. So it's not like, you know, made here, designed here, shipped here, all of this different stuff. It's all made right there in Washington, making its carbon footprint a lot less. It's 100% recyclable. It is actually newspaper and like the texture and it doesn't have like news articles on it. It's double-sided. It's printed with soy-based ink. It ships plastic free in bioplastic or in paper. There are so many good things about Rapidly. I'm obsessed with them. Their patterns are super cute, very funky too. Like you can get plain wrapping paper from them, holiday themed, or you can get really, really bold colors and patterns. And I just love how they're making eco-friendly living fun because a lot of eco-friendly brands are like brown, white, beige and like that's fine if you want the zero waste aesthetic but not everyone wants that some people do want the big and bold colors so rapidly has you covered on all of your eco-friendly needs and also all of your aesthetic needs but let's say you do want the brown aesthetic i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that i'm a brown aesthetic girly mostly just because it matches everything and also because it's significantly cheaper is brown craft paper you can head to your local like office supply store like staples office depot is that a store i'm sure even like target and walmart will carry this stuff in like their office supply section just get a big roll of brown craft paper. It is 100% paper, it is 100% recyclable, it's not dyed, making it more eco-friendly in that way. Generally not made from recycled materials, so not perfect, but nothing is perfect. This is probably one of your cheapest options specifically for disposable, as well as making it recyclable. Okay, I also have a few gifting accessories for you, like cards, ribbons, bows, etc. The first one is small victories. If you're looking for cards this holiday season that don't have any glitter on them, that don't have any plastic components, as well as have a second purpose to their life, small victories creates really beautiful seed cards that have seeds in them that can be planted in someone's garden in the spring. So it doubles as a gift to their little garden or their plant collection. And of course, now it's keeping something out of the landfill, out of the recycling system because recycling isn't perfect anyway. Bringing it back to Rapidly because this is something I have never seen before and I believe this is a new product for them. They sent it to me this winter and that is paper ribbons. I love the way they look. I think they look really cool. They're easy to tear, which is great. And again, fully paper, fully recyclable. I love this option for people who still want to decorate their gifts in fun ways, but want to avoid plastic. If you're looking for some more traditional looking bows, you can check out Just Honest Living. They make bows out of cotton, which is more eco-friendly to create than creating plastic as well as makes them compostable or reusable. Always reuse before composting or recycling if you can. Also bringing it back to Eco Enclose, they sell bulk tissue paper that is recycled tissue paper. I love that it's recycled, but again, it is wholesale only. So if you have a big family, this can actually really come in handy because it can save you money in the long run. But I believe the minimum you can order is a thousand sheets of tissue paper. So this is great for businesses as well. Perhaps not for those of us with small families or not a lot of gifts to give. Keep that in mind, but it is a great option for recycled eco-friendly tissue paper. That's fully recyclable as well. But if you're looking for recycled or just eco-friendly tissue paper in small batch, here are a few options for you as well. The first is Republic of Party. It is recycled as well. They make really fun and bold colors as well as plain colors and it'll suit all your tissue paper needs that's more eco-friendly than traditional tissue paper as well as you don't have to buy a thousand sheets of it. Another option is Bohos. I don't believe it's recycled but they are printed with soy-based ink which again is important and they also carry plastic free wrapping paper if you want to just knock two birds out with one stone. You can get your tissue paper and wrapping paper all in the same place. Now that you have your eco-friendly gift wrapping in mind what you're choosing for this holiday season especially if you're choosing disposable let's talk about how we can actually recycle our wrapping paper at the end of the holiday season. You want to make sure that it is 100% paper. We kind of touched on this earlier, but make sure that it's 100% paper. Typically, you can tell just by feeling. If it feels like printer paper, if it feels like notebook paper or newspaper, it's probably paper. If it feels shiny, feels a little bit slippery, it's probably coated in wax or plastic, rendering it not recyclable. Generally, you can always call and ask your local municipality. Now, if it's 100% plastic, you'll really be able to easily tell. If you crumple it into a ball and then release it and it pops back up almost into its exact shape, it's 100% plastic. Do not recycle this curbside. Thin plastics are generally not accepted curbside. You can f typically find a store drop off for this or better yet, just try to avoid it if you can because it's pollutive to create, it's pollutive to dispose of. And then other things that cannot generally be recycled are plastic ribbons, plastic bows, tape, any sort of bags or tags that contain any sort of plastic, anything with glitter on it is not recyclable. For more things that are not recyclable, you can check out this video up here. And then when it does
does come to your 100% paper. If you've determined that you have 100% paper disposable wrapping paper, be sure to remove any plastic components from it, any pieces of tape as much as possible, ribbons, bows, any sort of glitter, etc. as well as any natural materials. Like if you use a natural twine as your like bows, if you use any sort of pine or pine cones or orange peels to decorate it, that can't be recycled either. That stuff belongs in the compost instead. All right, now you know how to wrap gifts sustainably, but if you're still looking for some eco-friendly gifts to give this holiday season, again, you can check out my full gift guide up here as well as down below. Their gift guide is also in the form of a blog post, which I'll leave linked down below. As well as I have more tips for an eco-friendly holiday season that you can check out down below as well. Everything from wasteful things you should avoid during the holiday season, eco-friendly things you should do during the holiday season, tips for throwing an eco-friendly party, and so forth. You can check all those out down below. And again, if I missed any ways that you wrap gifts eco-friendly, leave them down below for the rest of us, and maybe I'll make a part two next year. I hope that you guys are having a happy and healthy holiday season thus far, and I hope it continues that way for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I will see you in next week's video. I mean, my next video. If you've missed it, I've gone back to posting two videos per week. For now, I'm really excited to get back into making two videos per week. So that way I can talk about stuff that I'm passionate about and stuff that's fun and you guys actually want to hear about. Sometimes they overlap, sometimes they don't. But now I can talk about everything. I love talking. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. But until then, remember that your small actions make a big difference in the long run. Bye guys. Till then though, remember that your small actions make a big difference in the long run. Bye guys. Should I do that again? I don't think that was good either, but bye to make it easier yeah that's that's a correct sentence what's happening oh my gosh no it's this or i wasn't doing that before to make it easier to wrap where was i i was talking about bags oh